Hello, I'm Simulator Deck, and welcome back to Tram Simulator. Today we're going to do a round trip between Stefan Wagner Pratt's Prep to Haptali and back to Stefan Wagner Pratt's. So let's get into game. We're going to be running the 2136 service due into Prep to Haptali at 2219. So, we're all set up. We can just cruise to Stefan Faderplatz. Uh, we have to wait for the timetable. And we'll talk about why we're doing that very, very shortly. Hope you enjoyed the previous episode. Things are certainly looking up. And are certainly on the improve. So on the screen you can see that we have to wait two and a half minutes. So we're out at 21.36. Uh, we're here. Um, I'm going to leave the doors unlocked at the moment because we've still got two and a half minutes. So as soon as that disappears, the wait two and a half minutes disappears when it's 21.36. Well, then we can then we can disappear. It's now a two minute wait. So there's some reasons why I'm doing this extended episode with the return trip. First of all, I usually don't go after Steam achievements. You know, there if you do something, you get Steam achievements for it, and you know sometimes it pops up on the screen and says you've done this. Woo! You're so cute, but. I want to do it. So you can get an achievement from going f from Stefan to Haptali, like we're going to do. You get another one for going back to Stefan, and then you also get one for doing it at night. So I'm thinking if I do a return trip at night, I'll unlock three achievements there. Also with the TSP, otherwise known as XP, tra tram stopping points, uh, you get points for punctuality and you get points for stopping as well. And I'm after, I want to be able to get 5,000 points in total so I can unlock the switch rod to change the tracks. But I'm about 750 short at the moment. So we'll see what we can do on this return trip. And this will be a really good test. I've only had one game crash in about an hour and a half of recording. So we'll see how we go. It's almost time for departure. So we'll lock the doors. And we'll just wait for it to tick over. There's nobody in the general vicinity and so we should be able to get a punctuality bonus as well uh, when we depart which is now so hopefully that will come up on the screen shortly our punctuality bonus punctuality bonus 18 train stopping tram stopping points so they can certainly add up quickly. So I don't think I had timetable mode properly activated before. Um, it's just not enough just to select timetable mode. You've got to actually select whoops, the time of the service that you're running as well and the actual time it is in, in the real world as well, or in Trem world. So we're a plus zero, whoops. So we should get our punctuality points as well punctuality points so you still get some points if you're late 
but not as many as you would if you're on time. So I hope you enjoyed Oh that was an enjoyable stop. Probably should get two points for that. Probably didn't deserve any points for that in reality. Oh, I did get punctuality 18 points, so that even though I didn't get anything for the stop. So I went through on the previous episode. Oh, there's another tram in the opposite direction, which is one thing we didn't notice on the last episode. We didn't notice any trams coming in the opposite direction. According to the release notes, um, more more trams have been added. So we just need to wait for our departure time, which will be in a moment. So we'll just close the doors ready. That's one thing I noticed in the uh, previous episode. Because we're in sandbox mode, or what I'm calling sandbox mode, in free roam, free world, whatever you want to call it, um, there wasn't any trams heading in the opposite direction. So, we've seen that that's not necessarily true. Yeah, not my best stop. So we'll just wait for the timetable to run down. So good to see some good to see some trams and hopefully we'll see some more trams um, heading in the opposite direction. Um, it is also a bit hard to tell though because it is twenty to ten at night um, in game time, so it's there may well be more It'd be nice if they go, oh, well, it's it's night time, so there's not as many... So there's not as many trams out as if it would be during the day. So we just need to wait for the... So we'll lock the doors now, because we're pretty close to our departure time. Anyway, whoops, I, that was me with the mouse rather than anything else that was going on. So, on time departure there. So these points will add up, and we'll see how I go when we get back to um, Stefan. Uh, we'll have a look and see how we did, and see if we can actually level up on this episode and get the uh, so we'll lock the doors because we are close to departure time. 
But I must say, I'm rather pleased with the um, with the patches that's going on. Um, there seems to be one patch a week um, released on weekends at the moment. So in a way, you could say, oh well, if it's you know been released properly and everything, well, it should be um, should be okay. You shouldn't need patches. And while I can understand why people might say that. It is very hard to test on multiple systems. You know, it is hard to test on um, lots of people's different systems and that sort of thing. And he gets a 10. So the fact that they know that the problems, they're actively working on it on a weekly basis nothing worse than buying a new game that's been under development for ages and you're getting paid you um you are paying good money for it's nothing worse than buying a game and then you know there's problems and there's no patches or if there's patches it takes absolutely ages for them to come out So at the time of recording, we have patch 1.0.7. And so by the time this episode comes out, there may well be an extra couple of patches out. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm happy with the progress. So I can't wait to hear progress of um, another route that is in the works, that I hear is in the works and hopefully should be uh, released soon. Let's go! Oh, did you notice a difference in the sound as soon as we came out of the tunnel? That's fantastic. Is there'd be some games that would struggle um, with that and they sound exactly the same doesn't matter what sort of environment you're in but that was fantastic The pedestrians seem to be mainly behaving themselves, which is fantastic. Um, Meow's behaving herself. She hasn't been near the keyboard. She's asleep in her perch um, near me in the studio.
Oh, timing. Sometimes the timing is everything on these straight sections. Just timing the lights. If you get stuck on a couple of lights that you might have otherwise got through, um, that can be a massive pain in the ass. You know, especially if you're getting stuck at every single traffic light. Um, you know, train priority or not, if you're getting stuck at every tra every um, set of traffic lights, um, it'll be a, a lot easier to run late. But we're doing well at the moment. We are sticking to timetable. We're having our our dwell time at each station. And we're aggressively coming into stations. And uh, we're not just sitting around and, you know, driving Miss Daisy at five miles an hour. to wait. It's a nice view of the tram coming in, in the other direction. So the tram's going to have to wait as well. Let's see. You know, you get a throw a couple of intersections like this. It's so much easier to stay on time compared to um, being stuck at every set of traffic lights and then having to do your station stops and everything like that. And there's some points, and this is also true with uh, with trains and train timetables. You know, if you're a few minutes if you're a few minutes late. If you're a few minutes late, or a couple minutes late, it's easy to make up the time. But once you get over a certain amount of time that you're actually late, um, doesn't matter what you do, um, you won't make up the time. Um, no. The um, platform displays are working, which is fantastic. If you're not in timetable mode properly, they won't work. Or they won't be showing exactly, oh, it gets a 10. This is the section where the um, where the tram changes from the left hand side of the road to the right hand side of the road. Good timing with this intersection can be a pain if you um, get stuck this little this little section here because there's lots of intersections that are close together and you get the time you get the timing wrong. You know this little this little section here. You get you get that wrong. Um, you get too behind the timetable. Um, you get stuck in you get stuck in traffic. Uh, it's quite easy to lose quite a few minutes quite easily.
so yeah, I don't want to lose early, I don't want to leave early because apart from being an inconvenience, I do lose points as well. But we're okay now. We can go up to that signal. And we've got it now, so we didn't have to wait that long. Oper, Karlsplatz, umsteigen zu U1, U2, U4, D. 271 2A 59A Alright, we'll just adjust our line of sight so we've got a good clear view of the light there. So far so good, really enjoying this run. Where's me a little light? Behind that pylon, not necessarily well, well positioned. Sometimes there's another little light that's... And yeah, we can't go yet because we do have traffic going the other way. And that's a telltale sign too. If you've got traffic coming across you, it's not time to, for you to go. the light. No, we've got to wait for the traffic again. Cars have been very well behaved, I do have to say. Of what I do like, in, in Europe at least, you get the little bit of warning before the light changes green, the amber light comes on. Sort of like how in, in drag racing, how the, how the amber lights come on to give you some sort of warning and then you anticipate when the green light will come on. Um, same sort of thing. They seem to have made some improvements to the graphics as well, like in that little section, the av and coming up here, the avenue of trees, or the tunnel of trees. So they probably have spent some time I probably have spent, and now I'm running 30 seconds late. Now this isn't going to be easy to make up, but we'll try our best. Ring, 
Passage information system is working well. There's another tram heading in the other direction. Parlament. Umsteigen zu 2 in Richtung Dornbach. I thought it was a little bit better than a six. Yeah, boy, nice stop there. So that car behaved actually behaved well. Get a ten. So we've made up we've made up time by the time that clicks over to zero. Uh, we should have the lights in our favour again. So we'll lock our doors now. And as soon as that changes, we're ready to go. Can we time it? I think we're okay. Short there. 
how are we going for time? Uh, we've got our 12 times, so that's alright. Okay, we'll get ready to lock the doors. We've still got 30 seconds, we're, so we might not have timed it that well this time, but we'll see how we go. We can't go yet, but the uh, traffic cycles are usually pretty quick, so we've still got half a we well, still got half a minute anyway. So we will see how we go. Hope you enjoy. Hope you're enjoying this series. Um, here we go. Oh, those yellow dots going to be so hard to see. Yeah, that probably deserved a four, to be honest. Um, I did also notice I was doing some reading uh, prior to the last episode, and I noticed that some people were complaining in the Steam community about the size of the speed signs and the warning signs and the signals and everything like that. And they were saying, oh, all these things are too small. Um, that's exactly what their life in the like in the real world. Even even on trains, sometimes the signs aren't really that big because they're not due to they're not supposed to be noticed um, by the general public. They're not necessarily there for the general public's benefit. They're there for the drivers. So, especially in this sort of environment, they're really supposed to blend in and be similar to uh, the other signs and, you know, traffic lights and that sort of thing. They don't really want traffic-sized light things for cars and then for tram, something which is like double the size or more that can't necessarily be incorporated in, into, the, um, into the environment. By the way, while I'm talking about the environment and that sort of thing, uh, in the introduction, you would have seen a real-life tram. Uh, that real-life tram actually goes past Irk Tower multiple times a day. And so... So sometimes I can hear them, sometimes I can't, but it's... Come on. bit of a delay there in the pickup but I still got my 19 points for punctuality so I'm happy with that something about a zoo Happy Noodles! Oh, 
come on, I don't think... I oh know it wasn't a good stop. I didn't think it was worth a four. Sweden Prats. Time to go. It's time to go. Gotta wait at the lights for that. Um, yeah, I've got the. Time I get there, hopefully it'll be time for me to go across the intersection. Oi! That was close. I don't think I ever said that pedestrians won't do stupid things, but the AI has been improved apparently. Alrighty. There we go. They're frustrating when you miss those lights out, but with good reason, as you can see in front. It's actually good that they've, at times they do have the cars turning right in front of you, and you know, it's not your go, and now it is my go, so let's go. Let's go! Hopefully we can go. Can we time? Hintere Zollamtstraße. Umsteigen zu O. In Richtung Praxstraße. Something about a zoo. We are. We are nearly at our turnaround point at um, Haptali. And are we going to do it on time? Is the question. We're certainly giving it a red hot go, boys and girls. Now, there were times earlier on in the episode where it would take me basically an hour to get to this point before I understood better how the timetable worked. Oh, he's, yeah, one that wasn't very good. He, in the opposite direction, or oh, on the other side there where all those cars are. This is basically the one where I go round and round the block. Uh, I sh need to stop. And I can't really see, can't really see the light from where I am. 
but the actual traffic lights themselves will and what the cars are doing uh will be a good clue as so when I see the other car starting to move that will be a good indication for me that I can go in reality of course I could stand up and And then in the earlier episodes, there's two yellow dots there, nothing confusing about that at all. Um, sometimes I wouldn't even make it down this far before the game will crash, but then again, I am getting through things a lot quicker. I'm not necessarily... I'm not necessarily waiting for the... Uh, for the pedestrians. You know, before I'd see someone running for the tram and I'm like, you know what, I've got time to wait. But then again, I wasn't necessarily following the timetable, but now I'm strictly following the timetable. It's like, I'm here, it's time to go. The traffic lights are okay in our direction, let's go. That's the way that I'm approaching it now. So it would take me an hour, and I wouldn't even get to this point. But there have been improvements since. Yeah, he just kept going, and he's in the wrong because he's supposed to give way to me because I'm on the, um, I'm on the straight, regardless of any other signs that he's gone through. If there's any there, don't you walk in front of me? Half a minute late now. Oh, have I leveled up? Have I leveled up? Switch operation rod unlocked. Enables a manual adjustment of switches. Yeah, boy. So I must have got. Because I reckon I needed about 800 points before the start of this episode. And they certainly add up. Yeah, boys, so I know what I'm doing next episode. I'm unlocking points like you wouldn't believe. Uh, we'll go in sandbox mode for that. And have I managed to arrive at our next stop on time? Let's have a look. We're certainly getting there. Wittelsbachstraße. Umsteigen zu 80A. Uh, we're almost there. So he levels up, he gets his bar. Oh, 
Alright, we need to get a move on. Okay, warning light stage right. Go, 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 go. Wave to old mate heading back to Stefan. And so the other challenging thing at the moment in this direction, time that well, is that I haven't stopped at some of these stops in this direction. Oh, I missed one. Oh, we've got to wait nine and a half minutes. Because they do give us some turnaround time. See, I didn't notice a stop before. So this is the turnaround point. Wow, that was odd. All right, we have made it. We got eight and a half minutes. So what we are should be able to do by rights. It's what time is it now? It is twenty-two twenty-eight. So if we go in and adjust the time. That'll just accelerate time a little bit. So we're due out in one minute. So I did that just to speed things up so we weren't sitting here in real time for for seven minutes. So has it or will it unlock now? Because we've done the route, we've done the one trip from Stefan to Haptali. Now we sh so we should get an achievement for that when we leave here because we've completed the trip. So we'll get ready to close the doors and as soon as that turns to zero uh, we'll be all 52 minutes, so I did that in about 50 minutes. Uh, so that's my probably my best run in that direction.
Yeah, I, I can see now why I missed that stop in that coming back. Very easy to miss if you don't know what you're looking for. Because it doesn't even look like a platform, it just looks like a gutter. But then you've got to look a bit more to the right to see the people waiting on the footpath and the signs and that sort of thing. So, easily done in this situation. I did have to, I did have to laugh. Uh, we've still got 30 seconds. At my real place of employment, I saw someone on the um, place of employment version of Facebook uh, post about post something about um, the different types of games and what they can achieve in terms of learning. And one of the one of the things that it mentioned was simulation. And so I did have to have a laugh because you can, and it basically said what I've said about simulation all along, that you can do things in simulation that you can't necessarily do sa safely or easily in the real world. Like, what, what chance am I going to be of being a tram driver in Vienna? None. So... I'm quite happy doing this. But what it does do, it does prepare me for some other things that are coming up possibly. Maybe, probably. And I get you thinking about other things in a um, safe environment that may otherwise not happen. Uh, I'm just waiting for the timer to go to zero. Now we're stuck in a moment. Oh, interesting thing that I've just noticed. We'll, we'll focus on it when we get to a stop. Um, on the display on the left-hand side, um, you can actually notice when the doors are open and which doors are open. You do have your dis main display under the cameras to show the status of the doors. That wasn't very good. I don't deserve a one for that. So you can see here on this display that the doors are at the moment are open. Some are closed. They're all closed. Wigan Horn. And now they're all closed because they're all white. So that's another way of seeing which doors are actually open because you can release individual doors um, and then passengers just operate which ones they want. So we'll show you that again at this stop. Alright, so the doors are open, they're shown in yellow. And now they're gradually closing, they're all closed now. How are we doing for time? We're good. 
and how are we for how are we for the intersection? Yeah, we're good too. So that's good, and that actually works in well. And that gives you another indication of exactly what doors are open. Like, I'm just doing it the easy way. All doors are open, all doors close. Now, I need to stop short of these points. Uh, yep, they're in the correct position. soon as that light changes which is on its way now that light indicates to me that the points are set to go straight ahead uh, points are set so they're straight ahead because I can actually see them and we got through that without a drama rather than going around around the block which I'm happy about so we should be able to hopefully get through this one And he gets a 10. So we still have to wait for a minute. So we have the we have the light to go straight ahead, but we've still got 30 seconds, so we'll wait for that 30 seconds. And hope that it stays straight. So next episode, we're going in free mode. Uh, it's just changed, but it'll change back soon. Uh, next episode, uh, we are going in free mode. Uh, we're going to be changing lots of points. I, I think every time we come to a set of points, we change them. And see where we end up. We're not worried about the timetable in the next episode. That is, we're certainly worried about it on this one. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I have to pull something out of our hat for this next stop. Getting ready. And go. Still got our maximum punctuality points of 19, even though we had to wait there for that time. Not the best stop known to man, yeah, that's probably where Viva 6, to be honest. Actually, that is a good camera position. So we can see our doors on our left and in the centre, and we can see our passenger information and our timekeeping, our timetable on the right. Schwedenplatz. Ah. 
Because some some of them, if you're in the middle of two warning points, you don't get a um, you don't necessarily get enough warning. Airport. Seems to be a lot less pedestrians that look like each other in, in um, this current update, so that's good. Stop nine. And here I was thinking I was going to be taking forever to um, to level up to get to level two. And getting to level two should also unlock a steam achievement. Uh, how are we doing? We've still got to wait for a minute. That's all right. Thirty seconds. So you have to keep your eye up there. That just changed. That's all right. We've still got thirty under thirty seconds to go anyway. So it should change back shortly, and we will be on our way to our next stop. This game is so good. The inner tram driver in me is very happy. All right. All right, let's go. So frustrating sometimes. You can clearly see that you can go, but you can't go because you haven't got the lights. You know, because they don't know what's what's around and who's around with uh, pedestrians and whatnot. Let's go. Oh no, not again. Uh, we're not doing this again. Out of the way. She's not going to move, I know that. Yeah, collision with person, I know. She wasn't going to... Because that's exactly where we got stuck on the last episode. As Now, of course, in the real world, that's a lot easier to deal with because the person would actually move. Well, in most case, in most cases, the person would move. Under 30 seconds to go. We're at the 66 minute mark and so far so good. Uh. Alright, we'll get moving now. Right, we'll hopefully change before we get there. The little A light's on, so that's the warning. So we should be able to keep going, and we can, around the curve. Sometimes it feels like you're going to derail. Waiting for the time to catch up. Uh, 
30 seconds. Red light. Okay, green light to go straight, that's good. Once our time disappears to zero, we can uh, change it again, that's alright. Pretty quick cycles on this one. Some pre horn, some pre ding, pre bell. As soon as that light changes, as soon as that little A light comes on, by the time that I uh, activate the controls, it'll be pretty close to um, A light on, a bit of horn, or a bit of belt, really, it's not a horn. So that means that the tram can either turn right or go straight ahead depending on how the points are set. But it, if you had to go right, I think I did an extra stop. Well, that'll make up for the one that I missed on the way, but that doesn't... It's not the way it works in the real world. Sometimes you stop at a station you're not supposed to stop at out of habit, and you think, oh, sometimes that makes up for the one that I did actually miss once. Alrighty, uh, let's go. Yeah, this is the one with the rainbow crossing. It's pretty scary that I'm starting to recognise some of these stops and actually um, corresponded with the correct name even though I can't speak German Parlament
I did say that the AI was improving. I did say that the AI was improving, and overall it has been, but that was just ridiculous. Sometimes it's confusing with all those crossovers and everything, and then you see the dots up there, in the middle of the crossovers. And what looks to be the middle of the road? Let's go. So we've got 30 seconds. Now we have to stop. Now we're stuck in a moment. <sighs> Be tired. Then again, it is quarter past six in the evening, and I have been up since. What time did I get up? Three thirty, four 4 o'clock this morning. Alright, so we'll close the doors. We should be just about ready to um, get that light. Well, the car almost ran over the pedestrian, so... Carl's Opera Plaza. Good timing. Let's go. Right on time and good timing with the lights. Oi, I always forget about that one. This is a good section if you can nail it for all these intersections.
Dresselgasse. Just keep on rolling, baby. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. And keep your eye on that light. There's that one up high, which is good. Must be almost time for it to change. Not quite. You got that cross traffic there as well. Some of these intersections for trams are really complicated. You know, how they manage to get through there at all. Is amazing. Uh, I thought I was going to have a game crash then. But no, at the 79 minute mark. Now this one, yes, nailed this one, let's go, let's go! Cross from one side to the other with the, ah! Uh, so that's the thing, you can have the warding light in your favour, but by the time you actually get to, the time you actually get to it, doesn't mean that you've got it, and that's what happened on that occasion. Also, in a way, it does help, but it doesn't help, but there's not a lot of traffic around. So you think, oh, there's no traffic around. I've got it. Sweet. Let's go. Yeah, just a little bit short. There's a yellow dot there. I've got all the doors locked, so as soon as that little A-light comes on, you know what the deal is. The time's right. There's the A-light. There we go. Timed it perfectly. Now this little bit's interesting because you've got cars sharing your lane. yet okay little a light is on Let's go. See so when the cars are partly in your lane, this is what this is when it's difficult, and they can't go anywhere because the lights lights red. Now it's starting to get ready to be green. Now it's green, now we'll just go behind this Audi. Oh, that was close. They don't mind doing that either, just quietly.
it's like got a little bit of a way before the next one so that um so as soon as as soon as we're clear we'll start heading up so half a minute late there so yeah, we should be able to time these lights perfectly and we can And this can be a knock-on effect too, if the stations or the stops are close together. There's only so much good acceleration can do. Especially if the traffic lights aren't in your favour, which they're about to be in our favour. That worked out well. Come on, let's go. This is re that's really good timing and then coming into the underground section. Mucking around here, let's go. Should get that signal in a second. I haven't had the wait that long of this signal before that I can remember. And we're too close to really creep up to it, there's no point. Just gonna creep up to it. Yeah, there we go, we're about to get it now. That's killed us a little bit. Our punctuality's dropped back to 14.
Straße. As soon as we get that light, we're out. We're almost there. A light on. Let's go. Couldn't see my big red thing. Another one. Far out. Yeah, I'd agree with that being a two. J2 consecutive cars and two consecutive light um, streets, intersections, crossroads, cross streets, whatever, um, without traffic lights, and they just go across like that. Let's go. We got two stops to go. Don't fail me now. Now, of course, in reality, you hit a car, you're not going anyway, you just don't keep, it, keep on going, but... Sometimes it doesn't matter how much you ring the bell, how much you're in the right, if they decide they're going to do it, they're going to do it. You know, it's not much of a moral victory to go, oh, oh well, I had right away. Yeah, you might have had right away, but you still hit the car. You know, no use being morally right if you've still hit someone, so... 
Oh, we have arrived. We have done our round trip. Oh, uh, what a feeling. And we're on time. Wait six and a half minutes. That won't be happening. So let's go. And we'll go to settings. And we'll go to gameplay. We'll show the profile window. Five thousand eight hundred and fifty nine. Five thousand eight hundred and fifty nine points for the old simulated Irk. That's a good view of the um, passengers there. So we have completed. We've completed our round trip. We've done our level two. We've done our. We've done our round trip. And. Let's hope that we did get our achievements. Now it says that I haven't done my achievements yet, but maybe that's because I haven't exited the game. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. I am going to close the doors now. Let's go for a look outside. There we go. Our destination is again set for prep to have to I've been Simulator Dirk. You've been wonderful. Thanks for watching. And next episode is going to be special as we've got the rod and now we're prepared to use it. See you next time. Don't forget, stay safe out there and watch out for trams. Bye for now.